ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cage Review. My name is Kevin Jackwitz, and this is E3 2018's Closing Thoughts. Uh, I, you know, I'm kind of having a little bit of remorse because I just did the review for Bethesda and I put them in third. And man, Bethesda and Ubisoft, I don't know, man. Like, I might actually should have put Ubisoft in third place, but. Bethesda did a very good job, and um, man, but Ubisoft, they came in, they did something a little interesting, a little goofy, you know, with the little dance routine at the beginning, but then they kicked right into a very good trailer for Beyond Good and Evil 2, and this game looks fucking amazing, everything about it looks great. You had a couple of different trailers for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We knew that was coming, that kind of got leaked, and so we saw a trailer, and then we saw a little bit of gameplay trailer from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where they give you a little bit more choice, a little bit more role-playing in this game, which I thought was cool. I liked that. You also got the Breach edition for For Honor. Uh, this is going to be an add-on coming here pretty soon, and... It looks really cool. It's a, uh, I'm guessing it's four on four. I think that's right. And it's all about kind of breaking into breaching this castle, breaching through the gates and getting the king. So it's very cool. It looks very good. I really did like the presentation. I love the effort for it. Um, couple of surprises. New Star Fox. That's always good. Um, God, I remember playing the original Star Fox way back, dude. That was so cool. Like, and for its time, like, just such an amazingly uh, futuristic game. Very, very cool. So it's nice that that gets a sequel. So, I mean, when you put it all together, you've got a good presentation, you've got good trailers, um, and you've got amazing games. It looks like Assassin's Creed is going to be very good, Beyond Good and Evil 2 looks equally as good. Um, you have to be impressed with Ubisoft. And they also released um, a very extended look at a game called Skull and Bones, which is basically this pirate naval warfare type of game. And you have to believe that with the success of Assassin's Creed Black Flag and the naval warfare and how well that game did, that they wanted to capitalize on that and make an entire naval warfare game, which is Skull and Bones. It looks good. It looks very playable. Uh, very interesting. The only critique I had about that game in particular is A, it was a very long trailer. B, it looks like they're not mixing it up quite enough. I think it'll be very fun for a few days, but longevity, I mean, you've got to add something interesting to this game. That's my thought on it, um, although I do love, you know, being in a ship like that, cruising the seas, uh, getting into the naval warfare, it was very fun, and I did that for a long time. But, again, uh, Assassin's Creed had a nice mix where you could go on land, you're hunting animals, you can go harpooning, um, so this game is going to have to incorporate some things like that, I think, to have the longevity of Black Flag. Overall, though, very good conference. I really enjoyed the presentation. I really enjoyed the games. For me, Ubisoft um, maybe should have gotten three, but I'm going to put it in fourth place. Um, it was a tough one there for me, especially with the Doom Eternal reveal. That was great. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackwitz, Cage Nation out.